In an attempt to cut down on foreign dependency, the government has introduced a new rule, under which import of weapon systems, including those being bought under the emergency clause, will require approvals by the defense minister. The specific approval by the Defense Acquisition Council is expected to bring further scrutiny into imports and encourage Indian industry to step up supplies. The total order quantities in acquisition cases will be split between shortlisted vendors when possible, while the other technically qualified bidders who have not been awarded contract will be issued a certificate, indicating that the product has been successfully trial evaluated, to facilitate vendors to explore export markets. In a very significant development, the gas turbine research establishment has engaged Brahmos Aerospace as a strategic partner for the manufacturing and testing the Manic small turbofan engine for the 1,500 km range TRDO submarine launched cruise missile. Gas Turbine Research Establishment is building infrastructure at Brahmos Aerospace that will cater to the manufacturing and testing of small turbofan engine and its new derivatives that will power submarine launched cruise missile, long range land attack cruise missile, and UAVs. Brahmos Aerospace will initially deliver 18 engines per year, and the production rate will increase with mass production of the submarine launched cruise missile, that will have both anti ship variant and land attack variant. <laughs> Boeing has offered 60 Apache helicopters to Indian Army. The Army had signed an order for six units in February 2020, and its delivery will begin in 2023. An internal assessment team of Boeing has predicted that the Indian Army needs 60 Apache helicopters for anti-armor attack role and to maintain battlefield dominance, but unfortunately, the acquisitions of Apaches by the Indian Army and Indian Air Force has been the subject of inter-service rivalry. Another American firm Northrop Grumman has pitched more APG-78 longbow radar to Indian Air Force as less than 50% of the Air Force's 22 Apache helicopters are equipped with longbow radar. The indigenization and substitution cell of four base repair depot of the Indian Air Force has invited bids for the indigenization of large number of parts of M53 engine that powers the Mirage 2000 aircraft, that includes spring and helical compression, spool outer air cooling, protector labyrinth and disc of M53 engine, development of claw, development clamp and development of control creep blades of M53 engine. The project director of AMCA program had recently confirmed that talks are being held with potential partners that have offered joint venture in jet engine development, and a new engine will be ready in seven years. French Safran was in talks with DRDO's gas turbine research establishment to jointly develop a 125 kN thrust class engine, and now joint statements during the visit of the British Prime Minister Boris Johnson mentions a joint venture for the development of new jet engine with Rolls-Royce. French firm Safran and British firm Rolls-Royce have both been assigned to develop next-generation jet engines for the sixth-generation fighter jet programs for their respective countries, and both companies have revealed plans to develop a radical state-of-the-art jet engine that will feature an electrical starter generator that was fully embedded in the core of a gas turbine engine, to meet power demand and thermal loads since sixth-generation jets will carry lasers and other directed energy systems, advanced sensors and avionics and swarming technologies. The Indian Air Force has finalized a requirement for a handheld hard kill counter drone system that will be developed by the local industry under the Defense India Startup Challenge. It should be man-portable and operable by a single operator and must have a range greater than 300 meters and capable of repeated use in quick succession. The Indian Navy has announced that it had recently carried out multiple weapon engagement and missile firing drills on the western seaboard, that included the participation of 15 warships and submarines and a large number of maritime patrol aircraft integral helicopters fighter jets and remotely piloted aircraft 
that validated the combat worthiness of various weapon systems deployed on the frontline units. It included anti-air engagements against high-speed sea skimming air targets in tactical scenarios, long-range engagement of a decommissioned warship with a sea skimming missile, and an underwater launched missile by a submarine that hit its target at maximum range.